Yeah, 50 Cent, uh, Sean Paul. They said they're ready, but I know for sure they're not ready. Go against the grain, if I show you gon' get it. Pump the pop, you drop, get dead it. See the crime scene, I mean, I forget it. When real real boys pop off, they don't want credit. If niggas know you did it, then police know you did it. They try to get you to battle Mook, right? Yeah. All the bread. Not nah, well, actually they didn't like Mook. That's my that's my man now yeah. too. Like we be. We be talking, he even got signed with Rough Riders, and you know that's mm-hmm. why I started. You know what I mean? But So no. that little thing about him wanting to battle me, he said he was reaching out to somebody back in the day. That shit never came to me, so it was like... Well, with the way the money is now, would you consider that? Nah, because Mook, that's my, no, that's not my even little Mook, man. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with Mook, so I mean, I wouldn't want to do that. They just reached out to me like not too long ago. They wanted to put some shit on pay-per-view and offer a large amount of money but the shit gotta make sense to me well they wanted you to battle i elevated from that like i'm not okay battling no more the reason why i was battling in the beginning was to get my name known and let niggas know that i bite heads off so that Mm -hmm. i could eventually get in position to start making money Mm -hmm. i've been making money for longer than these niggas probably been coming out the house so it's like for me to backtrack and go back to battling it's like, I feel as though that's the wrong move for me. Mm. Only way I would do that if it's like an artist that accomplished something like I accomplish it, and it'd be worth me doing it. Like, for me to even get motivated to want to do it. And let me give you another analogy. Like, if you like not, you don't even got to be Floyd Mayweather, but if you like even Manny Pacquiao, a person that might have lost a lot of fights, but even if a nigga win the gold medal in the Olympics, you're not going to fight the nigga that won the gold medal in the Olympics because it's even against the law for them to fight. It's like, it's not even the right thing to do. The nigga that won the gold medal got to turn pro and beat a lot of professional niggas first before he qualified to fight somebody like that. And I feel as though these little URL niggas, like, not taking nothing away from them. The reason why the views is going up, because that's, like, one of the main places where you can hear bars nowadays. Because mm. niggas ain't really spitting. So when niggas want to hear niggas saying something, they got to go to one of them battles. And that's what them niggas is bringing to the table. So that's good for hip-hop. But for me to go and battle one of the niggas that just battle all day, that would be pointless. And I won't even be motivated to do it. I won't Understood. even get nothing out of it. Like You know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, it got to be somebody that I feel like... It'd be worth me doing it for. Let me ask you this. When's the last time you spoke to DMX? <laughs> this thing is all over the place. You had to, somehow you had to call him or Swiss and like, what's what's good with X, my nigga? Um, come on, my nigga. Like, <laughs> last time, face. Last time, like, what? Last time we <laughs> talked, we was together like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, a couple months back. Like when you, know you know hear these stories, him in person. But X been, I mean, X been doing him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he been wilding. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you got up times, you know, niggas just block out the fact that you be wilding and doing certain shit. Then when you have down times, you know, the media like to bring a lot of the other shit to light. So it seemed like it's more crazier now than it used to be when really it's just the same. That's just how X is. You know what I mean? But X fam, like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Then... He talented, like, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's rapping, acting, or whatever he doing. So, he wilding, you know, him and the people that's in his immediate circle got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't get caught up into that. I just show him the same love every time I see him, regardless of what he going through. When was the last time you spoke to R. Kelly? Because when you had Hotel, he oh. wasn't peeing on little girls at that time. <laughs> Yo, he's just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Well, when I did Hotel, you know, R. Kelly wasn't my homie. You know what I'm saying? That was my first time really getting around him. You know, Grady, actually Grady that was down with Four Surfers when I was signed to Four Surfers set it up. So we flew out to Chicago. You know what I'm saying? He invited me into the studio. He was a cool nigga. Mm. All this shit that's going on outside of that I ain't really know about then or I don't really give a fuck about because I was just interested in doing a song with a nigga that could sing his ass off, write right, crazy right. records and make hit records. So that was my main intention. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we got that done. He showed me love. He ain't necessarily have to, but he was fucking with my vibe. Twist a couple motherfuckers in the studio when we put it together and it came out crazy. I still perform that song to this day and niggas like still sing it and go crazy. Ever- so at the end of the day, when niggas be doing in their personal life, 
like whether it's <laughs> X or R. Kelly, I don't get caught up into that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like I only focus on their music. You know what I mean? All that other shit, I don't get caught up into that. You know what I mean? I like and that I don't really be knowing the truth unless I talk to them or unless I seen it myself. It's a lot of shit that go on on these blogs. Like even some shit y'all just brought up with me that don't necessarily be the truth. So if you run with any mm-hmm. information you have, it's like I don't I don't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? It can, is what it is. Can people ask you questions though? Like let's say something is on the internet about you. Can interviewers ask you See, or will me, you get upset? I'm not the type of nigga that's going to come in here with a piece of paper letting you know what you can ask me and questions you can't ask me because i'm a real nigga like i mm. i don't mm. got shit to I like hide that. I like, like you know what i'm saying that. i'm a straight authentic nigga like i don't got nothing to hide mm. so anything that come out i don't gotta get um trained how to answer it mm. i don't have to have like mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying my pr and them running me, in talking about you can't answer that or, right. or, or <laughs> give me a way i gotta answer it or get away from that <laughs> i don't really See, give I a like that answer mm-hmm. They said they're ready, but I know for sure they're not ready. Go against the grain if I show you gon' get it. Won't get pop, get drop, get dead it. See the crime scene, I mean I forget it. The real real boys pop off, they don't want credit. If niggas know you did it, then police know you did it. Whenever drama come, a real soldier don't set it. If it's beat, get it. Big money, let it. Then your brain dollar, let it. Don't fuck the 50 of Sean Paul. I got 50 soldiers on call, ready to brawl gangster. Send me your old spray.